Public Relations on AME Info taking a look at how PR has evolved here in the Middle East, what we can expect in the future, and in the middle of this interview, taking a look at the World Congress, which is happening here in Dubai. So, Sunil, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Phil. Well, with 15 years plus experience of PR in the region, how has it evolved in that time? Oh, dramatically. Uh, the growth has been probably the fastest in the world, uh, and the PR industry reaching roughly around half a billion dollars in 2011. And we are hoping in the next, uh, until 2010, for that number to be a billion dollars. So it's a very large industry, generating a lot of jobs, uh, and obviously uh, bringing a new discipline of communication and mm. PR, which, which is adding great value to the region. You mentioned the business value there, but there's also been a lot of changes in terms of elements of, uh, well, media, uh, social networking, things like that, which perhaps we can speak to in a moment. But the 20th World Congress is taking place in Dubai, so that's uh, a key event, not only for the PR industry, but also for Dubai itself. What can we expect? Oh, it's going to be probably the largest PR event happening uh, in, in the Middle East. It's the first time that the World Congress has come to the Dubai and to the Middle East. Uh, so it, it's, ab it's an absolutely great honor for, for, uh, to get this to mm. Dubai, which is the host city. And it is rightly so because uh, Dubai is the hub of the PR industry. This is where all sure. of the main head offices of all the PR agencies and a lot of the regional companies headquarter their main communications department. Uh, and that is why we call the Public Relations World Congress, uh, our, our marketing tagline is, in an exciting city uh, at an ex extraordinary time. Well, this is an exciting time, an extraordinary time as well. You look at things, what happened in the region last year the, and also globally with the economic downturn. Yes. What's going to be the key focus then of this PR Congress? Uh, we call the, age, uh, the, the, conf uh, the Congress uh, at an extraordinary time because it's been one year since the Arab Spring sure. and there's a lot of interest from across the world in terms of what's happening in the Arab world. And that's why the theme of the Congress is from Arab Street to Wall Street, communications in an age of dialogue. That encompasses the two aspects, isn't it? Arab Street to Wall Street, the Arab Spring, and also uh, Wall the Street. The Occupy Wall yeah. Street, because yeah. you know, in many ways, as you know, Phil, uh, the Occupy Wall Street movement has been greatly inspired by what happened during the Arab, Arab Spring here. And I think there's a connection here. We live in an integrated world. And the fact that you know, we all have common purposes, uh, and, and sure. how is that impacting not just the PR world, but what's happening in terms of the media uh, uh, scene, as well as politics. They're, they're all three integrated, and we're going to actually be looking at all of these three, politics, media, and public relations. They're all interconnected. In terms of the Congress, who will be intending in terms of speakers for, for the different uh, topics and different areas? We're going to have 35 very high-profile speakers from, uh, from the field of politics, from media, uh, and uh, from pu public relations, of course. Uh, the headline speakers uh, are uh, Dr. Anwar Ibrahim, the former Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia, uh, who now runs the uh, opposition group right. uh, Kedilan Party, uh, and he will be one of the top keynote speakers in the politics session. We have uh, Mr. Wada Kanfar, who is the former Director General of the Al Jazeera Channel, yep. and now the head of the Shark Forum, the think tank, uh, uh, he'll be leading the media spokespeople and Lord Bell from Chime Communication in London who will lead the, the, uh, the speakers from the PR sector. Mm. So a lot of speakers, we can't go through all of them now, but in terms of people attending the conference, being a world conference, where will the delegates be coming from? Uh, uh, the last congress, the, the, the congress is held uh, once in two years. The last congress was held in Lima, Peru, where we had over 500 yeah. delegates come around the world. Our expectation is to breach that number. So we're expecting 500 delegates from uh, across the world, but predominantly from the Middle East and North Africa region. So what's the opportunities for local PR executives and professionals to attend the Congress? So the first day, Phil, is on March 13th, we have the uh, workshops running collaborations with the Public Relations Consultants Association of UK. Uh, two very timely subjects. One is how to construct a PR campaign and how to do a digital strategy. Okay. And we're getting top class uh, facilitators and faculty from the UK. Day two and three, which is 14th and 15th of March, is when the Congress will be held, where all of these 35 speakers are going to be you know, sure. discussing all these subjects, which is going to be a fantastic. People can go on to uh, our website, which is PRWC Dubai. Dot com 
and register. There is a fee for delegates yeah. uh, for the workshop as well as for the Congress, which is a reasonable fee. And we think the value that the Congress will bring to, especially to young PR professional, will be tremendous. So the Congress, a good opportunity for anyone involved with public relations. And let's finish off. And uh, we started off by reflecting back on the past 15, 20 years. How do you see PR evolving over the next 15 years? I think it's going to get uh, even more uh, world class uh, because, you know, the Arab world uh, is a young, uh, sure. young demographic and there's a lot of young people coming into the profession. And one of the key objectives of the uh, organization that I represent, which is the International Public Relations yep. Association, as well as the, uh, the firm that I run, which is Asta Bas Mastella, we, uh, uh, we see PR becoming more professional, more Arabs coming into the profession and communication booming. As I said before, from $500 million mm. to a billion right. in till, until 2000, uh, into to the next 10 years, is a big growth sure, sure. and we are very confident that growth will happen. We think we can bring more Arabs, create more jobs and make our, uh, our, our uh, field more professional. So Neil, nice talking to you, a great uh, look at the World Congress and we'll have another chat on another occasion about PR in the Middle East in general. Thanks very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Phil. Thanks a lot.